My beloved child, as I gaze upon you from the heavens above, my heart swells with boundless love. You are my masterpiece, crafted with care and imbued with a spark of my divine essence. Today, I wish to speak to you about a simple yet profound concept. Let's break the ice. In the beginning, when I created the vast expanse of the cosmos, I spoke light into existence, piercing through the darkness. Just as that light shattered the primordial void, so too must you break through the barriers that separate you from those around you. For in this tapestry of humanity, I have woven threads of connection, waiting for you to unravel and intertwine them. Let's break the ice is more than a mere phrase. It is a divine invitation to thaw the frozen hearts and hesitant souls that populate your earthly journey. Just as I breathed life into the clay to form Adam, and fashioned Eve from his rib to be his companion. I have placed within you the power to breathe warmth into the coldest of interactions and to forge connections that mirror the unity I desire for all my children. My child, do you recall the story of Noah? After the great deluge, when the waters receded and the earth emerged anew, I placed a rainbow in the sky, a covenant of peace and a bridge between heaven and earth. This was my way of breaking the ice with humanity, of extending my hand in reconciliation. In your daily life, you too are called to be that rainbow, to arch over the chasms of misunderstanding and fear, to be a sign of hope and a harbinger of connection. Consider the tale of Moses, who stood before Pharaoh with a staff in hand. He did not begin with thunderous demands or divine threats. Instead, he performed a miracle turning his staff into a serpent. This was his way of breaking the ice, of capturing attention and opening a dialogue. You may not part seas or turn rods into snakes, but you carry miracles in your words, in your smile, in the simple act of extending your hand in greeting. And what of my son, Jesus, when he walked among you? He was the master of breaking the ice. To the woman at the well, an outcast shunned by her community. He asked for a drink. In doing so, he shattered social barriers and paved the way for a conversation that transformed her life. To Zacchaeus, the despised tax collector, he called out, Come down, for I must stay at your house today. With those words, he melted the ice of isolation and ushered in repentance and joy. My child, when you break the ice, you emulate the very essence of my nature. For am I not the God who calls out to Adam and Eve in the cool of the day, seeking fellowship? Am I not the one who wrestled with Jacob through the night, engaging in an intimate struggle that left him blessed? In every interaction, in every tentative hello, you have the opportunity to mirror my relentless pursuit of communion with my creation. But breaking the ice is not always easy. It requires courage, vulnerability, and a willingness to risk rejection. Remember Peter, who, in a moment of impulsive faith, stepped out of the boat to walk on water towards Jesus. The ice he broke was not just the surface of the sea, but the barriers of doubt and fear within his own heart. Though he faltered, my son was there to grasp his hand. So it is with you. When you reach out to others, when you dare to be the first to smile or to ask a question, you are walking on the waters of social uncertainty. And I am there on, always, ready to catch you if you stumble. In the book of Isaiah, I declare, Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. This, my beloved, is the ultimate icebreaker. I am constantly at work, thawing the frozen landscapes of human hearts, carving channels for my love to flow, where once there was only barrenness. When you initiate a conversation, when you offer a kind word to a stranger, you are participating in this divine work. You are my hands, my voice, my warmth in a world that too often feels cold and unyielding. Think of the disciples on the road to Emmaus. Their hearts were heavy. 
their hopes shattered like ice beneath a hammer's blow. But then a stranger joined them, my risen son, though they knew him not. He broke the ice with a question, what are you discussing with each other while you walk along? And as they journeyed, as he opened the scriptures to them, their hearts burned within. In the breaking of bread, their eyes were opened. This is the power of breaking the ice. It can turn mourning into understanding, despair into recognition, strangers into intimate companions. My child, I have not given you a spirit of timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. Use this gift to melt the glaciers of indifference, to thaw the permafrost of prejudice. In a world where many build walls, I call you to be a builder of bridges. For every bridge you construct, every hand you clasp in welcome, is an echo of the greatest icebreaker of all, the cross. Where my son shattered the barrier between humanity and divinity, between sin and grace. Remember the first Pentecost? My spirit descended like tongues of fire, dancing upon the heads of the gathered faithful. That holy flame melted away barriers of language and culture, uniting my children in a symphony of understanding. When you break the ice, you are invoking that same spirit. You are saying, let there be understanding. Let there be connection. Let the walls come down. In the book of Revelation, John describes a new heaven and a new earth, where the sea was no more. The sea, that great divider of lands and peoples, will be no more. This is my ultimate promise, a world without barriers, without the need for icebreaking because all will be warmth and unity. But until that day comes, you are my ambassadors of connection, my prophets of welcome. So go forth, my beloved. Whether you find yourself in the marketplaces of life or in the digital realms where so many now gather, be bold in breaking the ice. A simple, how are you, can be the pebble that starts an avalanche of friendship. A shared laugh over a small mishap can be the chisel that carves a path through mountains of solitude. A compliment, a question about someone's day, an offer to help, these are the sun rays that loosen winter's grip. And when the ice is hard, when your overtures are met with coldness or indifference, do not despair. Remember the persistent widow who wore down the unjust judge or the friend who knocked at midnight until his neighbor rose to help. Persistence in love is a mark of my children. For did I not send prophet after prophet, even knowing they would be rejected, because my love never gives up? So too must you persist, not with aggression or demand, but with the gentle, relentless warmth of genuine care. In all this, my child, remember that you do not strive alone, just as Aaron and Hur held up Moses' arms in battle. I have placed people in your life to support you. Seek out those who share your heart for connection. Together, you can radiate a warmth that no ice can withstand. And in those moments when you feel your own heart growing cold, turn to me for I am the eternal flame, the ever-burning bush that is not consumed. In my presence, all ice melts away. So, my beloved, go and break the ice in classrooms and boardrooms, in cafes and on street corners, in the vast digital wilderness. Be the one who takes the first step. See every interaction as a canvas waiting for the colors of connection. Listen as I listen to the cries of my people in Egypt. Embrace as I embrace the prodigal son. Forgive as I forgive, seventy times, seven times. For in this grand dance of human interaction, in the delicate art of breaking ice and building bridges, you are not just making friends or expanding your network. You are participating in the very work of creation, in the ongoing story of redemption. You are bringing my kingdom a little closer to earth, one thawed heart at a time. Remember, my child, that before time began, my spirit hovered over the waters. Now, that same spirit hovers over the frozen seas of human hearts, waiting for you to speak, to reach out, to break the ice. In doing so, 
you usher in the springtime of the soul, the great thaw that precedes the blossoming of love. Go now, with my blessing. Let every hello be a whisper of my eternal greeting. Let every handshake be a reflection of my outstretched arms on Calvary. Let every breaking of the ice be a foretaste of that final day when all barriers crumble and my children feast together at the table of everlasting communion. For you are mine, fashioned for connection, anointed to melt hearts. In you, my radiance shines. Through you, my love flows. Because of you, the ice breaks and the world grows warmer. With all my love, your heavenly Father, esteemed seeker, your super thanks kindles our journey, breathing new life into our quest for truth and light. Join us with a tap and bask in the endless blessings of divine love. My precious child, I see the weariness that weighs heavy on your soul. Despite your faithful efforts in prayer, worship, and serving others, you feel drained and exhausted. Know that this is not a sign of weakness or lack of faith, but rather a gentle reminder that you were never meant to rely solely on your own strength. I have given you a beautiful promise, an invitation to come to me with your burden and your fatigue. When you try to carry the weight of life on your own shoulders, it will always be too much to bear. But when you come to me, I will give you rest. Not just physical rest, but a deep, soul-level rest that refreshes and restores you from the inside out. This rest is not about escaping from your responsibilities or challenges, but about facing them with me by your side. When you walk with me and learn from my gentle and humble heart, you will find that my way of life fits perfectly. It is not a burden, but a gift. As you trust in me, you will discover a new strength and peace that comes from relying on my power, not your own. I understand that letting go of your own striving and resting in me is not always easy. It takes surrender and trust. But I promise you, my beloved child, that I will never leave you or abandon you. I am with you in every moment, ready to carry your burdens and guide your steps. When you feel overwhelmed or weary, Remember that you are not alone. I am your refuge and your strength, always ready to help you in times of trouble. When you call on me, I will answer you. I will be with you in hardship, deliver you, and honor you. So come to me, my precious one. Lay down your burdens and your weariness at my feet. Allow me to embrace you with my love and fill you with my peace and strength. Trust that my grace is more than enough for you and my power is perfected in your weakness. I see every effort you make, every step you take in faith, and I am so proud of you. But I don't want you to become so focused on doing things for me that you forget to simply be with me. I delight in your presence, and I long for you to find your rest and your joy in our relationship. Take time each day to quiet your heart and mind to step away from the busyness and the noise, and to simply be with me. In these moments of stillness and connection, you will find your strength renewed and your spirit refreshed. You are my beloved child, and I care for you more than you can imagine. I see your heart, your desires, and your struggles, and I am here to walk with you through it all, to offer you a love that never fails, and a peace that surpasses all understanding. So when the weariness creeps in and the burdens feel heavy, remember my promise, come to me, and I will give you rest, not just for a moment, but for your soul. Let my love and my strength be your anchor and your comfort today and every day. My dear child, I know you're tired. You've been searching for me, trying so hard to connect through prayers, fasting, and rituals. But sometimes, in all that striving, it's easy to lose sight of what really matters, our relationship. You don't need to perform or prove yourself to me. I'm not interested in perfect words or flawless devotions. What I desire most is your heart. I want you to come to me just as you are, weary, worn out, maybe even a little disillusioned. It's okay if your prayers feel clumsy 
or your faith feels shaky. I'm not grading you on technique. My love for you doesn't fluctuate based on your performance. I love you completely and unconditionally, on your best days and your worst. Remember, I am the one who gives you strength. It's not about how long you pray or how many verses you memorize. Those practices have their place, but they're not the core of our relationship. Think of it like this. If you had a child who came to you exhausted and disheartened, would you demand they recite the right words before comforting them? Of course not. You'd embrace them, love them, and give them rest. Dear beloved, would you like to lend a helping hand and support our mission? Click below to buy me a coffee and be an integral part of spreading God's message through our YouTube channel. Your contribution means the world to us. Thank you kindly for your support. I am your Heavenly Father. My arms are always open to you. When you're depleted and discouraged, run to me, not because you have to say or do the right things, but because I am your refuge. My strength is made perfect in your weakness. One of my precious children learned this lesson in a profound way. They had been seeking me ardently, spending hours each day in prayer and study, trying every method they could find, but they felt more distant than ever. Finally, at their lowest point, they simply cried out, God, I can't do this anymore. I'm giving it all to you. And in that moment of raw honesty and surrender, I flooded their heart with my presence. They realized that all their striving had been keeping them from truly experiencing my love. It wasn't about their efforts. It was about yielding to me, letting me love them, guide them, and fill them with my spirit. And as they rested in my love, they found a peace and intimacy they had never known before. That's what I want for you, my child. Not a performance, but a relationship. Not striving, but surrender. I am here, waiting to embrace you, to breathe new life into your weary soul. Come to me, lay down your burdens, and let me fill you with my strength. In me, you will find rest for your soul. You'll discover that my yoke is easy and my burden is light. I'm not interested in wearing you out with religious obligations. I want to give you life, hope, and joy. So when you feel like you can't pray another word, just lean into me. When your faith feels weak, let my faithfulness carry you. I will never let you down. I will never abandon you. My love for you is constant, unwavering, and unshakable. I delight in you, cherish you, and have incredible plans for you, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a beautiful future. But that future doesn't depend on your performance. It's rooted in my goodness, my grace, and my unfailing love. So rest in me, my precious child. Let me be your strength, your song, and your joy. I am with you now and forevermore. My love surrounds you, upholds you, and will never let you go. You are mine, and I am yours, and nothing can ever separate you from my love. My dear child, I know you are weary and burdened. You have strived for so long, trying to find me through your own efforts. But encounters with me cannot be manufactured or earned. They are a gift of grace. Do not be discouraged when your emotions fluctuate or your body grows tired in seeking me. Your spirit is the part of you that connects with me, and I am always there, waiting for you to simply open your heart in faith and surrender. So cease your striving and rest in me. Get out of your own way. Quiet your racing thoughts and allow my Holy Spirit to work within you. True encounters with me occur not through the work of human hands, but the stirring of my spirit to your spirit. Your spirit is the deepest part of who you are, the eternal essence that is united with me through the resurrection. When you accepted me, your spirit was reborn and you became a new creation. So it is there, in your spirit, where you can experience the fullness of my presence. Yes, 
There may be times your body rejoices and trembles at my touch, or seasons when your emotions swell with the wonder of my love. But those outer responses come from the state of your inner spirit. Make it your priority to attend to your spirit above all else. You may ask, how? By faith. Faith is a childlike trust. It is humbly acknowledging your need for me and believing I will meet you right where you are. You need not attain a particular state or follow a prescribed method. Simply come as you are, with all your imperfections and inconsistencies. For it's not about perfecting yourself but receiving my perfection. It's not about earning my affection but accepting the boundless love I already have for you. I'm not looking for impressive words or pious deeds. So come boldly into my presence, not because of your own merit, but because of the worthiness of my Son. My blood has made the way for you to approach me without fear or shame. You are forever my beloved child. As you draw near to me, I will draw near to you. Seek me not with formulas and striving, but with a humble and surrendered heart. My child, click on the join button to join us as the cherished member of our community. Make room for me and I will fill you with my spirit. For encounters with me are not one-time events, but a continual way of living. Every day, every moment, I am with you and in you. Tune your spirit to my spirit, quiet yourself in my presence, and let me speak to the depths of who you are. For it's in that secret place of your spirit where you will hear my still, small voice. Don't grow weary in pursuing intimacy with me. The enemy will try to discourage you, tempting you to focus on your shortcomings or the distractions of the world. But keep your eyes fixed on me, for I am your strength, your portion, and your exceedingly great reward. I'm not finished with you yet. Day by day and moment by moment, I am renewing and transforming you from the inside out, not by your own efforts, but by the power of my indwelling spirit. So yield yourself fully to my work in your life. As you do, you will experience my presence in deeper and more powerful ways. Not because you have attained a higher level or mastered a sacred prayer, but because you have humbled yourself and made me your highest pursuit. For encounters with me flow from a heart fully surrendered to my will. So be encouraged, my child. I am with you and I am for you. I will never leave you or forsake you. Even in seasons when you don't feel my presence, I am still at work in the depths of your spirit. Keep seeking, keep knocking, keep believing. For as you simply come to me in humble faith, you will experience encounters with my presence that words can never describe. I will reveal mysteries to you and shine light on the path before you. I will speak destiny into your spirit and empower you to walk in my purposes. Rest assured, I who began a good work in you will bring it to completion. So fix your eyes not on what is seen but what is unseen. Labor not for temporary things that fade away, but for the eternal connection of your spirit with mine, for that is the source of abundant life. I love you with an everlasting love, and my greatest desire is for you to know me intimately, spirit to spirit. So come to me just as you are, and let me fill you with the fullness of my life-giving presence. Day by day, encounter by encounter, I will transform you into my image and lead you into your glorious destiny. My dear child, in this world of constant busyness and endless distractions, it's easy to lose sight of what truly matters. Like Martha, you may find yourself anxiously caught up in the day-to-day -day tasks and worries, striving to prove your worth through ceaseless activity. But I invite you, as I did Mary, to choose the better part, to prioritize sitting at my feet, listening to my words, and resting in my presence. For it is in the stillness and quietness of heart that you will find true peace and fulfillment. When you let go of the need to earn my love and approval through your own efforts, you open yourself to receive the overflowing grace I freely give. My acceptance of you is not based on your accomplishments or successes, but on my finished work. 
you are already deeply loved, completely forgiven, and forever accepted. So let your work and service flow from a place of gratitude and joy, secure in the knowledge of your identity as my beloved child. Don't allow the expectations of others or the demands of this world to drive you to exhaustion and burnout. Remember that your value and worth are not determined by how much you can do, but by the simple fact that you are mine. Take time each day to sit at my feet, to soak in my words of life, and to be refreshed by my spirit. For it is in intimacy with me that you will find the strength, wisdom, and direction you need for all that lies ahead. As you prioritize your relationship with me above all else, you will discover a deep well of peace and purpose that sustains you through every season. And when the inevitable distractions and demands of life threaten to pull you away, simply return to that place of rest and trust. Lay your burdens down, cast your cares on me, and allow my love to quiet your anxious thoughts. For I am always with you, always for you, and always ready to pour out my grace and favor upon you. Remember, dear, my child, that your journey of faith is not about striving to earn my approval, but about learning to live from the acceptance you already have in me. It's about allowing my love to transform you from the inside out so that your life becomes a reflection of my goodness and glory. As you walk with me day by day, you will find that my yoke is easy and my burden is light. For I am not a harsh taskmaster, demanding perfection and punishing every misstep. I am a loving father, patient and kind, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. When you stumble, I am there to pick you up. When you wander, I am there to gently guide you back. My grace is sufficient for you, and my power is made perfect in your weakness. So don't be discouraged by your failures or overwhelmed by your shortcomings, for it is in the very places of your brokenness and insufficiency that my strength and beauty shine through most clearly. As you learn to embrace your weaknesses and limitations, you create space for my power to work within you, transforming your struggles into testimonies of grace. And as you live from a place of acceptance and rest, you will find that your work takes on new meaning and purpose. No longer driven by a need to prove yourself or earn your keep, you will be free to serve others with joy and generosity. Your life will become a living example of my love in action, drawing others to the hope and healing found in me alone. For this is the abundant life, my precious child. I have called you to a life marked by deep communion with me, overflowing peace in the midst of chaos, and unshakable joy in the face of every trial. It is a life lived in the freedom and security of knowing that you are fully known, completely loved, and forever accepted in me. So come to me, my child, and find rest for your weary soul. Let go of the burdens of self-reliance and performance-based living, and simply abide in my love. For as you prioritize your relationship with me above all else, as you choose the better part like Mary did, you will discover the fullness of life that I have always intended for you. Trust in my goodness, lean into my grace, and let my love be the foundation upon which you build your life. For I am with you always, guiding your steps and working all things together for your good and my glory. Rest assured that my plans for you are to prosper you, to give you hope and a future beyond anything you can ask or imagine. As you walk with me day by day, you will find that my presence brings light to every darkness, peace to every storm, and joy to every sorrow. For I am your God, your Father, and your friend, forever faithful, forever true, and forever committed to your flourishing and well-being. So don't be afraid to let go of the things that hinder you from running the race set before you. Don't let the cares of this world choke out the abundant life I have for you. Choose each day to sit at my feet, to listen to my voice, and to rest in my finished work. For it is in surrender and trust, not striving and self-effort, that you will find the fulfillment and purpose your heart longs for.
It is in yielding to my love and grace that you will discover the true meaning of life, to know me, to enjoy me, and to bring glory to my name in all that you do. My beloved child, I am here with you now and always. I am the source of your strength, the anchor of your soul, and the author of your story. So rest in my love, abide in my presence, and trust in my perfect plan for your life. For as you do, you will find that my grace is sufficient for every need. My dear child, I know you are weary and feel overwhelmed by the challenges you face. But remember, you can always come to me with boldness and confidence. My love for you is unwavering, and my grace is sufficient for all your needs. You don't need to approach me with guilt or self-condemnation. Come to me as a child would approach their loving father. Don't hesitate or hold back. Pour out your heart to me, sharing your fears, your doubts, and your deepest longings. I am here to listen, to comfort, and to guide you. When you pray, start by acknowledging our relationship. Call me Father, for that is who I am to you. This simple act of recognition will remind you of your true identity as my child. It will give you the assurance that you are loved and accepted, no matter what you are going through. As you spend time in my presence, let my love wash over you. Allow it to heal your wounds, calm your fears, and renew your strength. My love is not based on your performance or your achievements. It is a gift freely given and will never be taken away. In those moments when you feel like you can't go on, remember that my strength is made perfect in your weakness. Lean on me, and I will carry you through. My grace is always sufficient, and my power is always available to you. Don't let the enemy deceive you into thinking that you are unworthy or undeserving of my love. Those thoughts do not come from me. They are lies meant to keep you from experiencing the fullness of my presence in your life. Whenever you hear those whispers of condemnation, counter them with the truth of my word. Remind yourself that there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. You are a new creation, holy and blameless in my sight. Your past mistakes and failures do not define you. What defines you is your identity as my beloved child. As you walk with me each day, let your confidence grow. Let the assurance of my love and acceptance empower you to face every challenge with courage and faith. You are never alone, and you are never without hope. When you approach me with boldness, you are not being presumptuous or arrogant. You are simply responding to my invitation. I have called you to come boldly to my throne of grace so that you may receive mercy and find grace to help in your time of need. This boldness is not based on your own righteousness, but on my righteousness. It is a boldness that comes from knowing that you are fully accepted and fully loved. It is a boldness that allows you to approach me with confidence, knowing that I am always ready to hear your prayers and answer them according to my perfect will. So don't hold back. My child, come to me with all your cares and concerns. Come to me with your joys and your sorrows. Come to me with your hopes and your dreams. I am here, waiting to embrace you and to fill you with my peace. Let your prayers be a reflection of our relationship. Speak to me as a child speaks to their loving father. Share your heart with me and trust that I will always respond with love and compassion. As you pray, remember that my answers may not always come in the way you expect, but trust that my ways are higher than your ways and my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. I see the bigger picture, and I know what is best for you. Sometimes my answers may be yes, and other times they may be no or wait. But no matter what my response is, you can trust that it comes from a heart of love. I always have your best interest in mind, even when you don't understand my plan. So keep coming to me with boldness and confidence. Keep seeking my face and my will for your life, and know that as you do, I will guide you, strengthen you, and fill you with my peace. You are my child, and I delight in your presence. I rejoice over you with singing, and I surround you with my love. 
Never forget how precious you are to me, and never hesitate to approach me with all that is on your heart. May my love be the foundation of your life, and may my grace empower you to live each day with boldness and confidence. You are loved, you are accepted, and you are mine forever. My dear child, when you are connected to me like a branch to the vine, my life flows through you, nourishing your soul and producing the fruit of the Spirit. What is this fruit, you may ask? It is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These are not qualities that you can manufacture on your own, but they are the natural outpouring of a life rooted in me. As you spend time in my presence, as you meditate on my word, and as you yield to the promptings of the Holy Spirit, you will find these characteristics blossoming in your life. It is not a matter of trying harder, but of trusting more deeply. It is not about performing for my approval, but about resting in my love. For I love you with an everlasting love, a love that knows no bounds and no conditions. I see your heart, your desires, and your struggles, and I am here to walk with you through it all. So when you feel weary and burdened, come to me. Lay your head on my shoulder and let me carry your load. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. I will give you rest for your soul and strength for your journey. I will refresh you with my living water and fill you with my unending grace. As you abide in me, as you make your home in my love, you will find that my spirit is at work within you, shaping you, molding you, and transforming you into the person I created you to be. You will begin to see the world through my eyes, to love with my heart, and to extend the same grace and compassion that I have shown you. This is not a journey that you undertake alone, but one that we walk together. I am your constant companion, your ever-present help, and your unfailing friend. I will never leave you nor forsake you. I will guide you with my counsel and lead you on paths of righteousness. So do not be discouraged by the challenges you face or the weariness you feel. These are opportunities for my power to be made perfect in your weakness. They are invitations to lean on me more fully and to trust in my sufficiency. For when you are weak, then you are strong in me. As you continue to abide in me, as you make time for our relationship and prioritize my presence in your life, you will find that my spirit is producing a harvest of righteousness in you. Your life will bear the fruit of love as you extend compassion and kindness to those around you. You will experience the joy that comes from walking in step with me, even in the midst of trials and difficulties. You will know the peace that surpasses all understanding, a peace that guards your heart and mind in me. You will develop patience in the face of adversity, trusting in my timing and my purposes. You will show kindness to others, even when they do not deserve it, because that is the kind of kindness I have shown you. Goodness will flow from your life as you seek to honor me in all that you do. Faithfulness will be your hallmark as you remain steadfast in your commitment to me. Gentleness will mark your interactions with others as you extend the same grace that you have received. Self-control will be evident as you yield your desires and impulses to the leading of my spirit. This is the life I have called you to, a life of abiding in me and allowing my spirit to bear fruit in you. It is a life of surrender, of letting go of your own striving and resting in my sufficiency. It is a life of daily dependence on me, of drawing near to me in prayer and meditation and of allowing my word to dwell richly within you. As you walk this path, as you make your home in my love, you will find that my strength is made perfect in your weakness. You will discover that my grace is sufficient for every trial and every challenge. You will experience the fullness of life that I have promised to those who abide in me. So take heart, my child. Though the journey may be difficult and the burdens may feel heavy at times, I am with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. I will strengthen you and uphold you with my righteous right hand. I will guide you and direct your steps. 
and I will produce in you a harvest of righteousness, a life that reflects my goodness and brings glory to my name. Abide in me, my child. Make your home in my love. Surrender your striving and rest in my sufficiency. Allow my spirit to work within you, shaping you and molding you into the person I created you to be. As you do, you will find the strength, the peace, and the joy that come from walking closely with me. Remember, I am the vine, and you are the branch. Apart from me, you can do nothing. But when you remain connected to me, when you draw your life from me, you will bear much fruit. This is my desire for you, that your life would be a testament to my goodness, a reflection of my love, and a beacon of hope to a world in need. So come to me, my child. Lay your burdens down and find rest for your soul. Abide in my love and allow my spirit to work within you. For I am faithful, and I will complete the good work I have begun in you. I will lead you on paths of righteousness and guide you with my loving hand. As you walk with me, as you make your home in my presence, you will find the abundant life that I have promised, a life filled with love, joy, peace, and the fruit of the Spirit. Amen. Lord is speaking to you right now. The rival of this person within your existence proves that they're not only a felicitation, but also a response to your requests. Determining your worth changes your mentality, which unlocks doors to obtaining Lord as our defender and fortress. We'll draw courage from the Lord and trust it was, is bound to be alongside ourselves. Therefore, we never reason to think afraid. Regardless of how fiercely the waves rocket and erupt, or how much the hills shake under its mighty increase, humanity will not break. Music, whatever barriers may rise, they will meet them head on, seeking consolation in Lord. He's the one we rely on. I'm hoping you can assist myself in praying for this. It is my sanctuary, my refuge, or my anchor so I won't be tossed off course by the storms of fate. Foreign with a strong basis and the secure haven courtesy Lord is their sanctuary. We have been saved while I received an impression of worth to him. You can trust her to retain you authorized everywhere. Dates hence felt liberty to confide in himself on any moment. Watch this video all the way through to establish a connection with God if you want to witness miracles. We may count on this person greatly. It's an idyllic travel partner to an adventure like that. We deserve conclude reliability and trust in them. There will be wonders in your lifetime that'll overhaul anything. So brace tuned greetings therein, my lovely little one. I'd like that to carry anything rather than wear that of derived implications about yourselves. Failures of earlier times are helping you benefit from those and mature intellectually. Maintain a weary eye on whatever as approach with caution. If you believe, please show it by liking this video. Music. Lord declares I've proven useful you that might believe me this instant as I am serving us. I cherish yourself while I commit that I'll consistently be close to you. Lord underscores why it isn't tirelessly to spot the mark something spectacular is scheduled unfolding within you this weekend. We are likely a glimpse of the culmination of a custom prepare science for respect. There was a quest, God stated. Nothing to feel guilty about, frankly. We've did everything you could do. We should be pretty thrilled with this change. You're throughout a bravery. Thus you make a fighter, unlike a coward as it could presume that I host herself in the strictest regard, and they impose to open a few intriguing chances you've got to explore the sequence. M choos may not be optimal yet, they're refined for our necessities acumen. This acts as an amazing lesson for the Lord is invariably preferable, rather our own contrary to anything they proclaim. Still pedestals that proficient glory does not need confirmation from any other party. Christ found this to yourself, Hence, grab it's this one, only yours. However, the duration which ye ordained won't alter when Lord had foretold whatsoever Jesus disclosed that you're where you belong to a pivotal distinct period of your ministry. None could have been a distance from the truth that you like, for furthermore proceeds at you. While us wander onward, 
merely desirable outcomes into consideration over that, can bring this to fruition. If you'll adhere to the indications I convey, your Lord informs we, you'll are laughing as well, find confidence in someone else again, and be devoted afresh. Jesus says we nowadays, they might supply myself to replace your belongings laws with an infant God have chosen. Lord has said that's brother or sister, wrap up your tasks in the right way and trust in mine. Grant him full reign throughout the cosmos, while I shall make sure nothing disastrous happens. Retain a belief in Jesus, whereas it confess the innermost methods, fundamental proposes or worse suspects with anyone, would listen. Keep that focus at all dates regardless of afflicted during the toughest crises of yourself. The divine reigns in the entirety of one's existence. Correctly. It has paved space for the excursion if you concur. Right. Thank Lord. This admonishes its readers to flock aboard while cases have merit as well sorted out. As cases toughen up utilizing an inkling just a guardian offered by even do thus over each phase on their days. Children, like a father, would show generosity to their kid. Likewise, did God show affection to people that respect them? When you hold a positive view in things, everyone is paying close scrutinize. Also, since you're gutsy, possessed lofty aspiration. Plus, you exhibit the aptitude to do factor truly magnificent all your existence. Pour vitality forth unto the realm. And a portion of that belongs to us, the people roughly. They would appear calmer once you flash them again. It was the main matter then can considerably impact anything else in the world that your state of mindset is precise with profit. Contracting this are both mandatory stages. This is too late to attract amorous curiosity, wealth, and occupational fulfillment. The celestial beings urged yourself to be apprised. Shortly, there will occur an extensive shift. Being unable to rapidly react to varying ailments or taking prompt effective action is mandatory. They claim they're the finest location for meeting passion, that privilege. But whose sense it is? Don't put negatively at yourself too harshly, given your humble roots. The Almighty had colossal in store of you regardless of their size. Their colors don't stand out all that much. That won't grow into an aberration with the long run, a long conclusion. The Divine will be conversant of your identity along will prove appreciative to pour His reimbursements onto yourself. The Bible states over the span of a lifetime, we will witness the enactment about each of these parole. The earnings will arrive at a suitable date. The fresh dwelling art to be below anything now, and the discovery shall be announced decisively. After that, eventually, they ought to be more refreshed. The voids that intimacy is looming and with it autonomy. All the burden of material deadlines as set by typing 1212. Lore urges Euro to stop as overly tough upon oneself to cultivate a more enthusiastic context. Try not to undervalue your own worth. In the end, they came close to edge. To put it bluntly, I admire your, you've strictly laid the groundwork for the preceding tranche of living over an interval frame spanning seven months from now on. Anything will play toward the good, like divine heritage shows when diving in an affair nowadays. It's due for some stupendous gossip drove by others' fantastic details, and then added sunshine. Music, if you've seen the angelic number 1212, it could represent a message to deepen your bond and loyalty to your relationship. Listen with your instincts without pondering stuff. The 1212 angelic number is an instruction for engaging closer to those sitting beside you, and they're due to something you've got last fire, folks. Brothers, I invoke you, all might pay your actual souls to Lord, as an altar of noble atonement that owed to yourselves morally to do that. The Almighty states, unless I consisted to reveal to you anything, I shall, will be holding for yourself, yet wouldn't grasp it to pin my word for that. Once truly moisten your lips and say apology, Lord will console and graciously endorse us as among his children. We confess with conviction that Christ is King, as well as that it believe God resurrected him out of death. Whatever you're seeking to achieve is inside your reach, yet you must work over there. 
Stop telling yourself you're inferior or cease to hesitate your own capabilities. We became whatever it entails. You've had much exposure inside this sector, and you certainly may do well. The last one was enabling oneself to see the unknown as a shot of expanding. The exigency stipulates no other course of doing. God declares the devil is opposed to your adoration of them. Therefore, evil shall do all in his control to hinder you from achieving this. I've contributed plenty more sacrifices to yourself. Thus, I'd like some love in return. Foreign infinity will bother as heavily as I do what being faring. Put it briefly, I cherish you. God will inevitably render all your imperfections and mishaps count for your well-being. Once stuff is implied to be yours, nature will make sure you're aware of it. Won't say anything truly exists to be done that cannot be taken distance from us. You'll seldom be in a stand where you must bend counter-tradition to generate it and sue. Assume that creation will behave how it should and by itself moment otherwise give up sampling to regulate them. Never miss your energy tries to delay the obvious. It shall occur anyhow in all cases. We ought to seize caring the next day. The celestial realm will forest onto you the beautiful gift it's got in reserve. In me lastly, make a good impression. Whatever that want to firm and propagate between others will be brought to bloom via your exertion. Enter 20 to 22. If you have faith seated, their analyzing might be the Lord's means of linear, that the best times of your lives are simply beyond the bend, since nowadays will wear. That space goes to conduct us such a massive prefer plus current. Is there moment which occurs from this exact time? We ought to keep indulging oneself cheerful, uplifting thoughts, because you'll receive more of the topics you devote the spotlight to. Lord, when my hope for your expands, I've asked that you nourish myself, so I fail to climb tired of serving others. I pray for a resolve to take care of everyone by midst of my feelings, since I hope to draw those among them in proximity to yourselves, as well as pattern their lives upon yours. Lord says well done because of what you've accomplished. You should now be able to see the positive revelations which are gradually carried out regarding yourself in spite of the challenges amid which you was functioning. Music there is no denying that they are underway immediately. No matter what I can make your life the brightest, wealthiest, and healthier can possibly be, the Almighty is willing to give you your heart desire if you just keep pleading about them. I realize exactly what you need. And if you look into your inbox first thing on Monday, it must see an intervention awaiting you. Great deal of favorable things will commence within a short while. We are always able at me to be at your team, express your faith, and everybody with like and sharing this video. If you think most people have honest goals, if you believe in Lord Right 333, Christ is pledging to work on with us during this dispute whether you've done all you can, while still reluctant to navigate the scenario the may measure upon mine to be there for you. Music, I am prepared to be by yourself during this whole dispute and to do anything necessary to make sure your sobs are healed. I refuse to allow gold from you in a matter of days. Items will begin to develop a clarity or spring onto harmony. Lord coveted to shield his sentiments to yourself, so he ruined the itinerary for convenience. In reality, we aren't incessantly divided from them. Currently, his controls your conduct merely express who exactly you're wanting recently thereafter. Give up command and trust, which our galaxy requires custody of every rest. Music. Supposedly the drawbacks that you're now experiencing keep the belief. Everyone will work towards yourself in the long run. What you've got to do is retain setting room for oneself what is required to be done as present with such. In order to, you'll acquire due to your readiness. The chance you've been waiting for will come to you instantly. The heavenly beings prefer us to recognize who these are ideal to put your confidence and divinity order and the value of coincidence music. Whatever is unfolding as it implies to nurture your spiritual development, you need to have optimism regarding this method. The following installment will start soon, and you've arrived right on enough to see it. The initial sections were targeted at defining the scene to the position you find oneself in today. 
several having noted you didn't have passage to the service previously, you're in. Now take conviction in the technique, embark on it straight away, and gather to be pleasantly perplexed. Perhaps anywhere in the universe is actively seeking an affiliation with you now. Foreign, if you believe God's plan right, yes, a lengthy period has elapsed since this person ceased contemplating yourself and wishing it were therein as such. Whatever that could be ready to give unto such goes around. One stop for us to visualize a world without you living in there. Lord, without you thereby, I just isn't move. We cherish your support. I value it much I'm meekly pleading with you to muster the guts to face this problem head on right now that being said I've had a remarkable month. I know I may calculate upon your being that when I need assistance. Rising regain my toes. That were the initial person I think about. A flurry of entrances occurs all at once. There wasn't nothing punitive intent behind the decision to award a bit more. Perhaps the last thing you did had obtained oneself dressed. Should you concur, please show this video some support by clicking the thanks button. Sincerely wish sufficiently the cosmos will dispass that a certain unique person, whom will surpass your fondest criteria pertaining of the associations you define with strangers. Then the culmination will change off your radar. Use this thought as frequently when you contend it is essential. Such a splendid career I have. I'm doing okay and it seems like anything is running smoothly. Whatever which is occurring as it does at this juncture is preparing myself towards the forthcoming phase of my destiny. The upgrades and progress to wellness have not stopped. We decided to set myself on placing hope for random events or haphazard bounty. The structure of creation, something you may count on. The story finally came to conclude. What you're about learning will blow out of proportion elevate your vibrational rate and open yourself up to the vitality that will stream in them. Therefore, it suggests these beseeching might was read or assumed were we willing to go. Foreign 777. If you trust Lord is with yourself and we can guide you across whichever is ahead. You'll ought to just place reservations about him whilst conduct your head most to garner his approval. How bear us up with helpful companions along the way. They like to monitor your actions and remind and in that in the future. This was that point to soak in the fruits of your slaves as collect the dividends of your diligent senses. Jesus has been on your behalf. They are entitled to enough gratis cash as you'd like. Anywhere they prefer. Your adjacent rupture is going to be one of joy contrary to melancholy. Allegedly, what that you've gone via perhaps the more crucial intervals of their lives persist above us. We earned all the limelight currently, so here it are. Although obligatory or correctly sit back mourn or say still haven't given off. Your lifetime shall be replete via lessons learned. Having broader implications and meaning for you too. What formerly seemed like a futile combination of materials, money, amour, welfare, a lucrative job plus a spacious house. Nowadays yours to enjoy in its entirety. Please click the like button if you agreed. According to the scriptures, whenever somebody fails, Christ puts the trajectory about someone with those whose draws pride steady, yet may stutter, yet he cannot plunge, since the Almighty is holding them upright. My priorities about our collaboration are quite high. As each action you'll be confronted by a fabulous candidates or growth personally and commercial success if you accept enter for 144. It lacks though your collapsed across stuff on mishap while you're more stuck within an untenable scenario. Call these their assertion objects is going to enhance for either yourselves and working here. Eventually we are conducting the ascent once yet again. Mind settled tenderness or restorative energies will supplant all those articulation of panic, trepidation, stress, even grief in your life. The momentous situation of tasks might render you quite happy and what is annotated future you may look forward to a plethora of bonuses. You'll be able to utilize interest in a broader spectrum of remedies, certain of whom could have an adverse effect on the curriculum your daily affairs entails. Everyone so Lord announce. I actually will be merciful to you so that what will play forth with your interest. 
we have to make a decision to stay centered. Christ armed yourself with a lot for pondering whilst you navigate your existence. My reliance is optimism, belong to Lord accordingly. I implore the two maintain believing and proceed upon your activities catching myself anew, is akin to seeing a spirit. We ought to allow away the arrangements I've made about oneself. I am convinced, if I just persevere diligently, the ache will diminish soon. Your entire new or prayed for shall suddenly be yours, about I shall unlock the entryway of paradise devotion flourishing and well-being. Await yourself, while marvelous adventures will present themselves to you. Absolutely not which will impede the glorious possibilities you've got on your path, declares the Lord from the perception which concerns the Creator. Anything is currently one for yourself. You are among a select few whose will enjoy heaps of luxury longevity plus bliss. As always, I appreciate it all you're required to do is put in little effort, and things will turn around 4 and 11. If you're convinced, I'm convinced that I will be reliant upon your sincere desire for every phase for my existence. Dear Savior, this residence lies where I will allocate the whole forevermore. These goes for each developing physique of literature, which attests out of probable severe the meantime. This doggedness has brought that closer to whatever ambitious yet gratifying pursuit you've set out oneself. Lord Cave then this assurance, although you may expect an improvement according your economic situation safety, until your perception of autonomy wants you certainty others. I'll highlight upon you a surplus of each currency and intimacy. Whatever trepidation, adrenaline, or afflicted you've got this instant shall be replaced within my admirer's therapeutic prestige to find prevalent souvenirs within a lasting tranquility. Lord can redeem whatever the flesh stripped from you. You'll go back to residing effortlessly and prosperously, for God will lavish his goodwill unto your existence. Jesus declares the child will roar with a smile still when you say, while trust in him or his asserts, one will travel too when you are confident in folks again that I am trying to take straight. What you've gone through is fondness, which is returning into your days as your master. It is my role to protect you since I created you, declares the Almighty. Jesus so shall watch over thee until you've aged, that your locks are falling away. You may rely upon mine to catch over you, stimulate you, or check up on the welfare of you at all times. Should we propose to resolve this issue ourselves, or urge them, you'll fail, only via cooperation will they be able to meet our goals. My respiration hurts doubly. Empathy, as I observe your suffering such hardships. I'm inviting them to speak with me exactly whatever bothers you. The Lord is talking with you nowadays to persuade you that glory is coming from this terrible situation. Could you accept the position of certainty? Who you gain is a selection of modest attitudes. If you select them by the finish line, one shall be attached to a certificate that enables anyone to legally purchase a dwelling. There isn't a problem they can't handle should I put my mind to it. Notwithstanding the likelihood, one might cross constraints along the way. Keep pressing ahead. Lord recommends reportedly likely events in which I compel anyone patience unless the road is solid and devoid of blockages prior to releasing them. The journey along this when you're into an opinion to serve somebody else is crucial when the cosmos chooses we to answer somebody's requests. You ought to remain grateful about the likelihood to capitalize on every moment of this. The divine exposed for them that you are the individual who will nourish them with immortality, privilege, or smiling. If you'd like to examine amelioration of your dealings, you'll have to continue asking. We can't predict when later brings. Likewise, we shouldn't be giving out now. While you place trust in the Lord, things could vary severely in a split second. Petition Him for anything, and then you could get adamant He will do it with you. We cannot disregard this any longer. Utilize yourself fully and revel in your uniqueness. We did superplay your existence as heading upon an upward path by every measure of comparison that you aren't the identical creature that you formerly were. Jesus has transformed each of your conditions. It's being simpler to liberate oneself from the bounds. Soon enough, 
You've become an aspect of a commemoration of an entity very huge. Focus a glimpse at yourself today. It's hard to get one's head around the breakneck speed with which anything unfolded for us. Equip yourself for handling the situation. Ponder the notion as it marks the onset of a phase where we will consist of rehearsed surpasses as well as great progress. Whether or not you have read up to this page in the text beforehand, you're in luck because you made it within position to see the remainder during the play. It makes it beneficial to confront this precise peril. We ought to radiate esteem for the process. We may get started immediately. Neither Christ nor myself will ever forget you nor lead you astray. The missing stuff will be regained by Jesus when he tells us to mark anything through doing it. The rationale why this is his wish is your to transition into clenching a situation sturdy. Although the arithmetic doesn't add up, avoid letting this throw you off. The hour for rejoicing has just come. Lord persists and up to a point don't hesitate to give gratitude to him for whatever he does beyond himself to address the dispute whom we have been unwilling to observe. Having earned over what we lost this fiscal year, your revenue will outweigh whatever you lost. The Lord is evaluating. You're here to achieve something finer. Long to align perhaps firmly. More elaborate and splendid could befall to you. The Lord is speaking to you and is letting you know this very moment. It's obvious that you require a hand. I'm currently active. Talk here with your questions. I'm honored to offer my input. They possess faith and mine if you'd like to because I haven't ever left anyone lonely along that road. We hold my heart and my allegiance, and I remain by your side. We had no notion that you've been selected to behold an incredible thing at his due time. It occurs where it seems like Christ is paving the way for a spectacular monetary result in your existence. Currently, stay praying. They will catch yourself commonly wiping away streams of effects. See, at this age nowadays, the Lord is diligently seeking your welfare. We ought to be cognizant of the time which you attain whatever we lost, since it is feasible prior, as we thought. At this time at least, brace yourself. Create a ritual of worshipping to nurture an optimistic outlook, which can tolerate misdeeds and agree positive traits within others. A mindset capable of reconciling themselves or carrying on after former errors irrespective of significant problematic terms. A fervent belief that a deity lives has the culmination of your unequivocal affection towards each other. The Lord can confront us with mercy when it's time nor delay its release. He obviously discloses when you'll get primed in conjunction with this respect. You must always bear in consideration that your commencement of doubt is gravel, but would inevitably disintegrate onto it. While such, we won't once contemplate too highly of oneself or stop being modest. Although it might feel though Christ has brought you on, anyone holds more influence than whatever would have had you known a battle not occurred. In reality, he is progressively reinforcing you. Gradually, there's nothing else I can depend upon, but you rely upon me fully. I pledge to adhere to your instructions and behave as you've coached. Although it isn't precisely where they have an awareness, it has to do with informing them wherever you're going. I'll get there when you dwell upon your struggles. They'll generate an array of them. Should you reflect upon your chances, we'll build more of them. When you fixate on what is wrong, it'll only bring greater upon yourself. As Lord is going to give your character notoriety among others who left you, we will learn to value yourself and what you've done. Folks automatically connect with your perfection when they hear your moniker. Even those who hadn't considered you an inspiration before will start to after you commence walking like an expert at every fantastic thing that will befall us. If you believe, write 2121. Several beneficial things can come out of the awful events which have impacted you. It states while he means to make attractive, his word, Amplify the adoration you usually feel for yourself when acquiring knowledge, rehabbing aging, and deterioration. You're unearthing your past self. You're on an epic journey. When you've decided you'd like to be satisfied, you must begin to make plans straight away. 
the universe will promptly set active all the necessary components to help you. The individuals and tools required will show up. Plus, the roadblocks you've been meeting will vanish. Yet after you settle on your thoughts, you can't move forward genuinely. Make a genuine decision and commence to unfold. You're gathered to it since M has informed you. You will go within it. This is since he coordinated events to play exactly like they ordinarily should. It won't be long until it's obvious how events are likely coming around for us currently. Thus, heed the admonition and become more diligent about your actions in the present. Trust that I'm able to attain it. This is indispensable whenever you've battled adversity. I was always there alongside you. You can depend on me to cater to every one of your requirements and be there for you with assistance at all times. Manifestation by typing on men. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Keep up with God's messages by subscribing and gratitude. Today, Lord is conveying something to you. The devil's goal is to take away your pleasure, calm, and joy. However, I will bestow a blessing upon you. Nothing ever gets out of my hands whenever I choose to reward you. No fiend in hell will be able to stop it. My methods are unfathomable. I pray that this night, the heavenly host of the Almighty will encircle your house, guarding you from any danger. May your environment be one of tranquility and serenity. May the grace of God be victorious. You should awake feeling revitalized after a nice night's sleep and nice dreams. More blessedness is headed your way the subsequent day. Presently, I intend to honor you in the Lord's name. Thank you. Music, Christ. Write Amen in Jesus' name. Deity tells you that whatever you've gone through has taken a concept beyond you. It's taken your luster, your naivety, and ultimately who you are. Nothing excites you as it used to, and you can't participate in the activities you once liked. I've got an idea. However, if you will only hold my palm, I will instruct you where to stand up for what you want, how to compete for the delight you deserve, my beloved. I will teach you to properly pray for the same spirit. But in the conclusion, you'd regain control of your fire, even if you aren't certain where tomorrow contains. Lord tells you, now he has the answers. I possess an objective and a strategy for your existence. If you simply send me your concerns right now, I will return to you my wellness, wealth, connections, and anything else that Satan has looted. Do not forget that the divine hears your prayers. God calms tempests when his people plead. Gates emerge while you seek restoring connections. This is what prayer is about. Someone's health may improve as they pray. Your prayers reignite the flame of optimism. Things happen if you ask for them. Whatever it is that you have prayed for nowadays, hold fast to your belief. The Lord is reliable. The moment of his response will be perfect. Possibilities galore are approaching. By keeping with your greater identity, you make several challenging choices. This year, in general, the outcome is proportional to the difficulty of the choice or task. Nature created these so that you may enjoy positive moments more while you suffer through the bad ones. Dispute is a necessary precondition for warmth and time. Your trials will end and new opportunities will present themselves. Continue to keep your heads held high. Nowadays, since Lord has you remain quiet, due to Lord will defend you and keep your calm while our Lord will prevail on behalf of you. The problem is that we attempt to shoulder God's burdens instead of our own, much too often. Lord desires for us to have faith in Him and trust in His immense might. It can keep our spirits held high, mouths shut, maintain our calm. We trust in Lord. This is since we realize that with Lord on our behalf, you possess more than sufficient. Praise be to music, Lord. Plenty of upcoming adjustments will prove to be big. The change is happening for the best, so have faith in it. Huge modifications are ahead. Now matters start to warm out. Why would anybody want to stand against us when God is on our side? 
to confirm WR111. Lord additionally provided his message to us for us to listen to him. He gave this so that we would gain wisdom through this. However, this will only come to pass when we combine trust in God's word. God told us in third that he wants us to do well in every part of our life lives. So let's not doubt it. Let's stop asking ourselves questions about it and just believe it. Wishing you blessings and encouragement. I will stand by you via my ethical just palm. Lord declares, ensuring your team will wind through those moments. Lord will fortify you spiritually via prayer and the study of his word. Through the help of his superb bomb, Christ will save you from these terrifying circumstances. The historical practice of holding a monarch's right hand was a show of respect. As long as you maintain your focus on the divine, he will bless you, no matter what trials you face. Thus, in the middle of every upheaval in your daily existence, could you use this chance to put greater confidence in Christ as you pour out your anxieties to Him? He's the one who stands between you and Lord. Therefore, reassure yourself in every scenario, as you can handle them fearlessly and with dignity. The Lord is beside you in any of these. You are never frightened or forced to face these things alone. Speak little. Listen much as what God is telling us right now via a variety of channels. He is sharing his insights. The solutions you seek are within your reach if you are willing to listen. When your time comes for a talk, you can relate the story of how God's grace lifted you up out of a pit of dismay into a position of faith and through the depths of heart. Take to the embrace of sincere affection. But now is the time to pay attention. Relax and absorb everything that Christ has to teach. He will show you how to let go in order to accept, believe, and then you will get, since that is what he will teach you. We heard the gospel taught, but the hearers reaped no benefit from it due to their refusal to combine hearing with believing. If you're prepared, write amen. God declares, do not be alarmed. You aren't crumbling under the pressure of a tough and trying day. I understand that you're affected by stuff really profoundly. Your compassionate heart is a gift from me. And that's why it might be difficult to live in this world, since nobody else likes or contributes equally as you would because of it. I am going to honor you for every facet of your existence. I will continue to shower you with an enormous and plentiful blessing. So brace yourselves. We couldn't have grown without revealing particulars. The reality must emerge. You have entered an additional stage today. The direction of your existence is about to change because of music, Lord. Despite your previous struggles, God has begun to flood you with pleasure that can endure. Behold the kindness of the Almighty. Live, be filled with miraculous events. The moment has come for him to reverse diagnosis and shatter curses. He is overcoming fears and cravings simultaneously. Feel free to let go of the agony of your past and revel in the beauty of what he has in store for you because he is a deity who fixes broken that go wrong. The difficulty is unable to overcome you because of him. Calm down. What you are experiencing is nothing short of miraculous. If you get this word, WR555, to show your affection for Lord, Subscribe to our channel. The Divine Word is stating Ula is very fortunate and well-loved. Your enemies will fail in their attempts to harm you. It was only a passing inconvenience, it wasn't permanent. You have nothing to fear because the Lord, your God, is on your behalf. A soul departs this mortal coil at each hour of each day. Every one of us is unconsciously in the path somewhere. The number of persons ahead of us is always a mystery. Take the most of our time here in queue. Set goals. Allocate a while. Manifest your blessings. Help someone who thinks they don't belong to believe that they do. Get your message out there. Elevate the mundane. Lift an individual's spirits. Reality has taught me that there are times when things don't turn out better on one side. In pursuit of fulfillment, 
Some desire to approve their lives and begin again. You can't take your troubles with you to a new place. When you go with a heavy heart or a troubled mind, looking for greener grass in a new city, connection, house, or garden won't bring you pleasure. You can cultivate pleasure right in your own yard. It's a heartfelt music pursuit. Regardless of your current position, it serves a purpose for you to come across this message. Beloved by Lord, He has wonderful intentions for your existence, so He will shower helps upon you. Keep your strength and worship confidently because I am declaring that positivity is coming for you. Brighter days are on our horizon. Everything that has ever made you pleased, trusted, and loved will return to you. I will restore whatever Satan has taken from you. Something that we first see as terrible can end up being really beneficial. You may grow your belief to new heights in the face of adversity. Lord had a purpose for your downfall, and He intends to utilize it to elevate you and His purpose for your existence. Lord sees anything, so He will utilize even the worst of times for His glory. Being patient and collected is the ideal course of action. Regardless of whatever this seems, a likely ode for advancement will present itself to you. I understand confidence and faith. Take your time. If you have faith in Lord, WR 999, Lord declares CLS. I have been helping you a lot this last week, although you hadn't realized it was me. I bestowed knowledge onto you every time you felt low down. I took you in my arms whenever you felt lonely or downcast. I pointed the way for your feet. Wow, you were confused. I will support you and safeguard you. And with me, you can accomplish anything. Count the number of instances you were carried by Lord without even realizing it. Now that you're well, you can observe how he has held you when you were unwell. You have an inner fortitude that eluded you. He was there for you while you were grieving, even though it hurt you. Feel at ease and was capable to go on. As in all alternatives, he escorted you throughout the court case, day by day. You had exactly what you require, even if you weren't sure you would manage. That at another side, you have fortunate. Well, and going faster as before, are you someone I'm able to inspire? Just as Lord held you before, His will take you today. Regardless of how daunting the situation might seem, know that it won't be going to be capable of derailing you or causing you to feel burdened. God, the Cosmic Maker, is holding you by dwelling on the wrongdoing of another. You are essentially enabling them to perpetuate their behavior of hurting you. Refrain from giving them authority. Forget about it. Pray about it. He saw their actions. He saw the anguish and sorrow that you shed. Those ashes don't diminish his attractiveness. Before you may appreciate the splendor, you must release the ashes. It's a transaction. If you simply provided me the ashes, stop thinking about the bothers, pardon them, and get back on with your existence. Lord promises to shower you with glory. So wonderful and satisfying will my plan be that you won't even remember what you've lost. Beyond your fondest expectations to find something novel with you could be in excess of whatever you could have imagined. New possibilities, strangers, promotion, recovery, and impact. We have no idea what God has planned. At times, we all experience setbacks, dissatisfaction, or losses. We fail to comprehend it. This is a hiccup. Yet, there's no chance involved Everything is unfolding in accordance with his purpose and the decisions him made in the past. While things become confusing, you must put your faith in his. You require faith that he is almighty and that everything is taking place for a reason. You will understand his plan in due time. Lots of individuals require heart from the narrative and consider their dreams can come true. Anything that transpires to you could be a demonstration of the reality of wonders, the mighty hand of Lord, the potential for improvements, with the fact that anything is possible for you. Get up and move. 
no matter how small or large the details may seem. Your soul is trying to tell you to rise, awaken, regain control, and stop being scared of the path ahead. The amount of time will it be before you're don't encouraged, urged ahead, and assured your setup, the direction, is becoming more forceful as it refuses to let you establish, regardless of outside factors or self-imposed obstacles. That consists of becoming crystal clear to you right now. You're started to perceive things more concisely and are contemplating your future. Your spirit was always amazing. You simply needed to embrace who you reside in order to experience the fullness of your nature, strength, and opportunity to begin over, recreate, and imagine a different path, which is ahead is even better. Yet the truth consists that there is already great. This is merely an additional notification that your ascent has commenced. It's taken an extended period attending, yet you're finally prepared to start. You can start small or abruptly, yet when your intentions, thoughts, and spirit are in sync, your forward motion will accelerate. Affirm, I am rising. The divine tells you that each stage of existence has a purpose and advances you toward achieving your objectives to make way for the novel. I'm here nowadays to support you in ending destructive patterns of thought and behavior. Just give me your problems as they are currently, while I could assist you overcome them. You can count on me to be by you as you assist in enhancing your self-esteem. You absorb my bravery, drive, and confidence. I'll summon mine. And you unleash such characteristics in yourselves. Have confidence in who you are and what you can accomplish because I'm always by your perspective. Never stop striving for your goals, loving oneself, being happy, and changing your mindset. Focus on improving yourself by appreciating your current situation and the advancement there's made. The road to the outcome still in need of preparation. Refrain from holding on to things that aren't beneficial to you. Always strive to welcome more of which makes you happy, such as affection, resources, and positivity. Occupation will have an instantaneous positive effect on your health, happiness, and sense of self-worth. Matters will become easier for you. Keep being yourself. Your world is opening up to you in so many ways. You have finally reached a point where you are willing to streamline your existence and face reality about your future. By directing all of your energy inward, you are not only letting go of a lot, but you are also reorganizing your vision and freeing yourself from the drain of external factors such as distractions, negative thoughts, and temptation. Now that you're seeing things more clearly, you comprehend that you just needed to go within to find your true calling. You are entering an effective period. This has been the more formative year of your existence thus far, as it has been the period of self-discovery your thoughts have grown stronger. You have witnessed discoveries, shifts, expansion, modifications, and upheavals. You have been through a great deal in a relatively short period of moment, as well as it have been for the purpose of waking you up to the truth about what you require, who you must know, while what is beyond for you. You had not merely persevered through difficult times, Yet you additionally restored yourselves from the inside out. You figured out how to change vitality and into knowledge that will help you in reality. Although many of your victories were internal, you have conquered in every regard. You were still successful in identifying patterns of behavior and implementing the required adjustments. Going ahead, this is just like any other moment, to better understand your mission. You need to quiet your mind and focus on the direction your spirit is leading you. No one can truly appreciate, feel, and live out your talent the way you do. Finding your center and connecting with your inner self are tasks that are entirely up to you. You are experiencing and will continue to experience lovely times. Affirmation, right? I feel this. Join me in prayer. Father in heaven, I prayed this petition with my mind and heart bound in reverence before you. 
because of what you've taught me. All I have to do when I'm down and out is pray to you. My help and my strength are you, Father. And I bowed down before you today. Without your assistance, I am unable to proceed further. I am weak and helpless. But I trust that your entrance is stronger because of my weakness. Lord, with your help, anything is achievable. You, my Heavenly Father and Creator, are more powerful than any of the difficulties I'm facing. You need no one to help you accomplish anything, because you are Lord. There is nothing you can't do, see, or know. Dear Lord, you have made it possible for me to approach you in prayer as one of your children, yet I must maintain my integrity before I can do so. I beseech your forgiveness for whatever I might have done wrong, whether intentionally or unintentionally, because I know that sin cannot stand before you. Music, I strive to live my existence according to your will, but I do slip up from time to time. At this very moment, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask for your forgiveness for whatever I may have stated, believed, or done that may have offended you. Dear Father, you have told mine never to be frightened or concerned, to come to you when I am in a difficult time. O oh Lord, you are aware of all the difficulties I am facing. Dear Father, you are the only one who can tell me if this is a trap the devil set for me or something I've brought about. My difficulties may even be a divine plan to strengthen my faith in you, Father. Whatever the case may be, my reaction remains constant. Please, Lord. I implore you to take away this problem and assist me, while I pray. I know that you pay attention, you are a magician and a pathmaker, and I know it's your desire to grant me tranquility. It's evident to me. Being in your being and hearing your voice clearly brings me peace. You are the one who gives me strength. Lord, intercede for me in a way that only you may. Lord God, I need your capabilities to get through this trying moment. You stay close to the crushed in spirit and the broken-hearted, according to your word. My God, remain near to me. There is no way that your affection can ever leave me. I continue to seek you by faith as I make my way forward. Please, Lord, execute your will rather than mine. Soothe me and accompany me if I must face this tempest alone. Come to me. Father, nothing matters to me if it isn't with you. Your spirit resides in me, and for that, I am glad. Much appreciated for entrusting me to your guardians who will diligently guard me. I am glad I hadn't to stroll solitary for what the moment. You've assisted mine before. I am thankful. I'm aware that you weren't here so far to abandon me. Lord, I will remain on your commitments. Lord, I surrender whatever I am in. Provide you to them. Pour out your devotion and Holy Spirit upon me. I ask in the name of Jesus. Amen. I adore you. Jesus Christ. Lord, help us maintain our channel. Turn on bell notification and subscribe to our channel.